for the first two chambers, you only need one good main DPS and sub DPS on the first half. In my case, I'm using Diluc as my first 5 stars from Standard Banner, and Kia. The other two are the free 4 stars healers, Giona and Barbara. My two healers are not fully built, I just put random artifacts with energy recharge sands and low level weapons. For the second chamber, I think the Chinese national team is the best one to speedrun for 9 stars. The catch is you just have to rotate them fast enough to get healing from Bennett Q. You only need to have 5 minutes left on the clock to 3 stars these two first chambers, so you can take your time. Now, the real deal is the third chamber. You will need a well-built team on the first half and national team on the second half. You will also need a good crowd control characters to group up the Sissim mages and Fatui agents. In this case, Sucrus or Kazuha or Venti is one of the best choice. Personally, I used Kazuha because I have him built the best. Because this chamber requires only 3 minutes to get 3 stars, so your rotation for each wave needs to be perfect. You will also need a good healer that can heal all 4 characters at the same time, so you can save time in your rotation, Jean or Chi Chi is good enough. You only have to stack a lot of attack percent artifacts on them for healing. My best rotation is to group them up with crowd control, then use all the bursts and come back to healing after I killed them. Just repeat the rotation for the next waves. For the second half, I focused all my skills on the Geovis app and tried to use Zing Chu E and Chong Yun Q only when the pyro slimes are grouped up. I tried to stay on Bennett as long as possible to keep his Q up for healing against the corrosion. That's all the tips I can think of on my run, here is the full run on this floor. I didn't include the builds because it will make the video too long, but I can include it in the description. Now, enjoy the video.
Your soul. One with my plan. 